from the song that five is, I am going to tell you about what is constitution. A constitution is a set of rules, regulations, guiding the administration of a country. The constitution of India is the framework for political principles, proceedings, and powers of the government. The constitution is important because it ensures that those who make decisions on behalf of the public fairly. Now I will request my dearest friend Anshika to tell you some unique features of our Indian constitution. Thank you and have a nice day. Good morning everyone. My name is Anshika Namdev. Now I am going to speak few lines on unique features of India constitution. The constitution declares India to be a secular, socialist and a democratic republic. At the same time, India has federal features. The power of government are divided between the central government and the state government. The constitution of India guarantees the fundamental rights means that India constitution provides an elaborate list of it. Also, many of its features have been borrowed from many other countries like United States of America, France, Ireland, Australia, Japan and Canada. Now I request my friend Aditya Raj Bhatt to speak few lines on Dr. B.R. Ambedkar. Good morning everyone. I, Aditya Raj Bhatt from Class 5C, would like to present a small talk on Dr. B.R. Ambedkar. No talk on the Indian Constitution is complete without mentioning the Chief Architect of the Indian Constitution. Also known as the father of Indian constitution, Dr. Bhim Rao Ambedkar was also the first law and justice minister of India. When India gained independence, it is said Pandit Nehru and Sardar Vallabhai Patel thought of inviting and consulting an internationally known constitutional expert for drafting the Indian constitution. But they were advised by Gandhiji to help of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, since he was the right person within India, an outstanding legal and constitutional expert. Hence, Dr. Ambedkar was entrusted with the role and he was appointed the chairman of the drafting committee. The contribution of Dr. Ambedkar in Indian democracy can never be forgotten. As the chairman of the constitutional committee, he gave a shape to our country of a complete sovereign democratic republic based on adult franchise. Baba Sahib Ambedkar's name is written in golden letters in the history of India. Dr. Ambedkar's contribution to the Indian constitution is undoubtedly of the highest order. Indeed, he deserves to be called the father or the chief architect of the Indian constitution. I now hand over to my friend Raghav Agrawal to give a brief introduction of the constituent assembly. Good morning everyone. My name is Raghav Agrawal. From class 5C, I am going to talk about the Constituent Assembly. The Constituent Assembly is consisting of indirectly elected representatives was set up the purpose of drafting a constitution of India. A committee of six members called the Drafting Committee was given the task of drafting this new constitution. It was headed by Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. The assembly was elected in 1946. It took two years, 11 months and 18 days to write it. On 26 November 1949, all the members of constituent assembly signed the draft and created our constitution. I now hand over to my friend Abdul Khan to talk about articles. Thanks. Good morning everyone. My name is MS Abdul Kalam. Today I am going to talk about articles in constitution. Studying the constitution is important because each generation needs to know not only the rights and privileges granted by the constitution but also the obligations of its citizens. What is an article in the Constitution of India? The Constitution of India contains 